I was fascinated, I think, with rhythm. In my head, I wanted to play guitar, but I think my heart wanted to play drums. When I started out, I don't even think I feel like I seen a drum set when I was like two and three, you know, but like I would set out pots and pans at my mom's house, played to some of her old records that she would play, Commodores, Earth, Wind and Fire. But my grandmother actually bought my first drum set when I was about seven or eight. That was nice of her. I always thank her for that. <laughs> My parents, they couldn't afford drum lessons, you know. I don't even think it crossed my mind that you gotta take lessons. I just kind of just started playing to different styles of music that anybody gave to me. And I would just listen intently to what they're doing and how they're doing it, you know, what kind of sounds are they making and trying to learn, learn all that I could. The more stuff came as I played with more people. My grandfather, his name was Dave Lewis. He was called the godfather of Northwest Rock. I'm like, wow, he did all this stuff in Seattle and played music and I'm, my teachers are saying, I used to go see your grandfather at the club, the black and tan. And then I seen a picture of my dad on the drums. Yeah, I wasn't raised with my dad, you know, he was kind of in and out of my life, you know. He was a young father, so I understand. And that was kind of amazing to me that I was interested in drums. I really had no idea that my dad was. After hearing that and finding that out about my grandfather, you know, it started kind of hitting me. Okay, maybe I do have something here, something that I want to keep going. <laughs> Jazz is, is pretty vibrant. You could go see some live, I don't even like to say jazz, I just say like some live music every night of the week. My schedule is very, very busy, you know, I'm playing every night and sometimes three gigs a day. My grandmother used to say, hey, you know, your grandfather, he had his own group. Maybe you should try to get your own group too. I would say I'm in two bands, like bands, bands. Skerrick's band, The Labra, and then my own band, Industrial Revelation. The way we play, just playing music, you know, not trying to be a certain genre. Just play whatever you feel, you know, and that's kind of how it began. I've gotten the opportunity to play with a lot of the musicians here in Seattle. I've been pretty fortunate to do that and make a living out of it and travel. And the, people in the audience, just seeing the joy on their face after hearing music. As long as they're smiling and happy after the show, then hey, I wanna keep doing it. Yeah, I have a little one coming on the way. Of course, it's gonna be around music a lot, but I kinda want the child to just find its own, whatever it wants to do, you know? I wanna make sure that they can put smiles on people's faces also. But I'm sure it's gonna be musical. <laughs> I know if it starts clapping a one and three, I'm gonna teach you two and four. <laughs> so I know, I know that. <laughs>